In this video, I'm going to show you how to fold an origami robin designed by Dave Brill. I use a square sheet of paper with a side length of 15 centimeters or 6 inches and the finished bird then has a length of about 10 centimeters or 4 inches, a height of 5 centimeters or 2 inches and a depth of about 3.75 centimeters or 1.5 inches. We're going to start with the chest color up and the color of the rest of the body on the reverse. First, we need to mark thirds. And for this, I like to shape this zigzag form and then adjust the paper until all three sections have about the same width. And when I have that, I'll just pinch here and pinch there. Then unfold and now we can bring a corner to the opposite corner to crease the diagonal. Now we're going to take these pinch marks to crease along them. So first we're going to take this point and use that pinch mark to fold in one third. And then I'm going to flip it over, take that folded edge and align it with this raw edge right here. And try to not have that paper drift too much while you're folding through both layers. Then unfold completely. And now take this corner and align it with the opposite corner to also crease the other diagonal. Now flip over so that you have one triangle showing here and we're going to take this corner and bring it up to that point where this crease line meets the folded edge. Then take that corner and fold it down to where this crease line meets that folded edge. Then unfold this and now we're going to rotate to add some creases right here. We're going to take this folded edge and align it with the central diagonal crease line. And pinch just in a small section here and same on the other side. Then take this point and align it with this point here where three crease lines meet. And crease strongly through this layer and also the next layer. Then unfold and refold those two small diagonals and go along the crease lines you just added, adding them to these layers here too. And this makes it easier to make a nice beak in the very end. Now we're also going to extend this crease line with just a soft crease line so that we get a nice rounded chest here. And once we have that, we're going to rotate this and now we're going to inside reverse fold along these long crease lines. But first we're going to take that top edge and align it with that central diagonal crease line. Now to make an inside reverse fold along these two crease lines, we need to add them to this layer right here. So we're just going to fold along it and then extend that crease line over to the other layers. Now we're going to open it up here, push so that we get a nice corner here and push the paper inside and flatten it down like this. Same on the other side. Just pushing in and then flattening down. We want to add another inside reverse fold here and there. 
And again, the creases aren't on the second layer, so we're just going to fold along the existing crease line and then add that crease line on the second layer. Then flip over again, open up just like before, push it open to push the paper inside like this, and same on the other side. Like this. Now we want to align this edge right here with that edge right here to add a crease line up to the central line. So first align and then add a strong crease because there are multiple layers up to this point. And same on the other side. First align and then press hard and use your thumbnail to strengthen the crease. Like this. Now we're going to fold along this mountain fold right here and add it on these layers. So again make a strong crease and now we're going to push this along this valley fold right here and these two valley folds so that we're folding this model in half while pushing this area inside so that we get this form right here. Let's zoom in here so that the details are more visible. Now before we continue we actually also want to add a color change for the legs and for this we're just going to open this slightly again and then take this edge and align it with that edge and you can even completely unfold this again and then align raw edge with folded edge and crease and the same on the other side. Then refold along this valley fold and these two valley folds to again get back into this shape right here. Now we're going to take this top layer and start a crease in this point so that this edge meets this point right here where this crease line meets the edge. And you will see that this doesn't quite flatten out easily so just don't worry about that for now, just get the alignment right and then add a crease starting from this point right here and then extend it all the way, ensure that there's no crumbling of paper and then flatten down like this. Now open up the paper slightly and press on this point to invert it like that and then flip over and repeat the step on this side, aligning the edges to get exactly the same angle. Next we want to fold this down in a very similar fashion, so we're going to take the top layer and add a crease so that it aligns with this folded edge right here. And then again we're going to push down the paper up until here and then push on this point to invert the paper and then we can execute that same step on this side. So this is now what we have. Next we're going to pull out this paper right here, just flattening it down and the same on this side, just pulling the paper out very easily and flattening it down. We can also bring this layer of paper forward, so we're tucking this point inside that pocket right here to reveal some of the color change for the chest, like this. And when we have that we're now going to start forming the wings. We're going to take this point and fold it down so that a crease starts right where this crease line meets that edge and fold it down so that this edge that we're creating is about the same length as here so that you have a nice symmetry. It doesn't matter too much that you do it like this but it does help because then it's easier to get the same angle on the other side. 
just adjust until you're happy and then add a strong crease. Then unfold and pull this paper apart right here. You will see that we have this slightly diagonal crease line that meets this point. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a crease line between this point and that point right here. So I'm just pushing the paper in and then adding a mountain fold here. It's easiest to do this in the air. And then I'm going to keep that crease line folded and push this down like this. And then we also want to add a crease line between this point and that point. And again, I'm just going to open it up and push the paper inside like this, then strengthen the crease and then push this down here to get a new crease line and then we can refold that other one right here pushing down the paper. And the same on this side. Just adding the crease lines this one and that one to then push this paper down, adding a crease line and then push this paper up, again adding a crease line like this. Next, we're going to start forming the legs. For this, we're going to take this raw edge and align it with that crease line. And crease up until you meet this additional layer. Make a strong crease. And then take this layer and add a crease line, again, aligning edge with edge. And you only need to go up to that point right here. And for the third one, we're going to take this point and bring it up to that point right there. And crease throughout. Then push in all three crease lines, this one, that one and this one, at the same time. And flatten down, adding a new crease line right here. Then bring this point over to that point right here, where you can see that layer meet with this layer right here. And add a strong crease. And now we want to make an outside reverse fold. So we're going to open this up so that we see the chest color and not that feather color for the rest of the body. And then we're going to press on this point to invert the paper. And you have to be a bit careful because it's a bit tight. You can open the paper a little, but not too much, so that the other layers don't unfold. And then you can close this up again and flatten down. It's a little tight, but this angle usually gives a very good weight distribution so that the uh, model stands very stably. Repeat on the other side. First, add a crease line aligning this edge with that crease line, just up to the center. Then also add it on this layer right here up to this point right there. And then for the third one, take this point and align it with that point to crease throughout. Then collapse all three crease lines at the same time to get this rabbit ear. And then take this point and bring it over to that point to 
to pre-crease. And then make an outside reverse fold by opening up this layer, pushing on this point right here to flip the paper over very carefully. And flatten down along the existing crease lines. Strengthen the crease like that. Now we can fold inside the legs along an existing crease line right here and make it strong in this place especially. Then add a crease between this point and that point where that claw of the uh, bird ends and then unfold and bring that paper inside. It should fit in nicely, but if it overlaps just slightly, I just over exaggerate this so that you can see it nicely. You can of course add another crease right here so that it's not too tight. And flip over and repeat on this side. First fold in along the existing crease line, then pre-crease and then bring that paper inside right here. And if the fit is too tight right here, just fold back some of the paper again like this. Now we can start shaping the tail. First we can take this edge and align it with that edge. Make a crease and then fold it inside, pushing it to the center of the layers. Then we have a crease line right here. We're just going to open this paper and make a valley fold along it quite strongly. And then we're going to push here to bring the paper out again to start a mountain fold that kind of goes from here up to these two points. So push and then adjust until you have a nice angle for that tail. I like this one, so let's stick with it. And now we're almost done. We can now take out this layer for the chest, like this, open it up, and if you want, you can really strengthen this crease, but I like to have a very rounded chest, so I'm just going to curl it a little bit. And we have these creases we prepared in the very beginning, and let's go along them to get a nice beak. And down here, perhaps on this side it's better visible, we're going to have a mountain fold right along here so that we align this mountain fold with that edge right there. So first pinch this into place and then align down and add a strong crease. Same on this side. First pinch into place right here to then align and press flat. So now we have this. Now we can press on this back to round it and I like to go in here and press out this paper and there, just pushing right here and right there. And at the same time push on this crease line to make it more three-dimensional, just rounding the paper rather than adding hard creases. Can you see that? And then finally 
we're going to open the speak right here. You can play around with it a little and fold this down. We prepared that crease so that it's nice and robust in the very beginning. Press down these layers and bring together the chest right here and especially when you're wet folding you can make this really nice and rounded and then just check that this is nicely secured pressing it flat and then there you have it perhaps curl in those claws a little there your robin designed by Dave Brill is all done. I really love the three-dimensional look and feel of the model and how robustly it stands. And for more of Dave's fantastic work, do visit his website brilliantorigami.com. You can even download diagrams for this and many other models of Dave's there. And if you liked this video, do let me know by giving it a thumbs up, commenting below and sharing it with others. Now, how about you fold another model by Dave Brill following one of my tutorials? Or check out my playlist of other origami animals. Finally, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss my next videos. I hope to see you around and, as always, happy folding!